Greetings entities and guardians, my name is Hyper Himes and welcome back to Quicker Run Oven Break. You know what I'm gonna do in this video? I was thinking of doing a trial, but I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know who to do the trial for. Like, I'm just going off this like completely randomly. I don't know who to base it off of. I might do it on one of the more lower Obtain wait, can I? Uh, not yet. Oh, well, if I can get Chrome Droid, maybe at some future point. I think it is possible for me to get Chrome Droid, just not at this certain moment. But I do want to do a cookies trial today. And I'm thinking of doing beats only just because I do have beat cookie at max level. There's there's story? When was when was their beat cookie story? Oh, uh, okay. Huh? Hey! Are these my crops? Who are you? That's my question! Who are you, vegetable thief? Huh? These yours? How dare you! These crops these were crops of my labor and love! A couple less and a couple more. Who cares? Who cares? I care! These are mine! It's just... I was so hungry. Besides, these vegetables were so fresh and tasty. I just couldn't stop. Fresh and tasty? Well, I need AR for I am a genius for, for... I was gonna say forever, but I'm a genius farmer. But listen, I'll let you eat them, but you'll have to do something for me. Huh? Your parent has made a mess of my farm. You will help me restore it. I gotta admit, Beats are a pleb. Giga pleb. <laughs> the eyes. After all, everyone has to work for their food, right? Now, let's get to work! Oh, this seems terrifying. No time to huddle around! Work! 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 How did, how did I let this happen? Harder! Better! Faster! Stronger! There's some strong lyrics here with that, I'm pretty sure! That? I, I... I... I don't even know what to say about that. That was just, like, an experience by itself. Uh... Does Bee Cookie have a, uh... A treasure combo? The carrot. Okay, well, that kind of makes sense, but... Was it, does it make sense for, by the way, that I accidentally say carrot cookie instead of beet cookie? Okay, so they both share it, so it's the carrot missile, so I probably should have that equipped. And what are other people using? Uh, you don't even need much of a high level to get diamond rank in this, but I don't have the magic candy, though. But I'm pretty sure that's not going to be a big struggle. And does beet cookie have any costumes before I do any big analysis? They do, except I do not have the really good one. So I gotta save an all costumes video at a future date, and maybe that's when I'll include a max magic candy, but for now we'll just leave it at level 3. But, cutscene aside, there's probably more story to go around for pets and cookie and even treasure. Alright, let's start off with Beat Cookie first. Their story is, a strong, persistent, rocky soil enduring wild beet was used in the making of Beat Cookie. This cookie not only inherited all these qualities of her mother ingredient, but also went up a notch, becoming able to survive in just about anywhere. Beat Cookie settled in the deep forest and has been protecting her territory with her trusty crow- uh, cr I almost said crowbar. Trusty crossbow- bo crossbar? What is a crossbar? Well, I think that it's actually like a soccer challenge, but a crossbow ever since. Storm, rain, blizzard, or vicious predators, no threat is too serious. There's only one thing that can spring an, a surprise, I was gonna say uprise, on this lonely ranger. Unexpected cookie visitors. Which that really didn't- Honestly, that didn't really happen when it came to meeting Carrot Cookie. Uh, yeah, surprise, but she didn't really react host in a hostile manner. But her skill is that bolt jellies appear at given intervals. Collect enough of these jellies to begin target practice. In this mode, the slide button changes into a crossbow button. When the small gauge is full, shoot a bolt. Hit the targets for marksmanship points. Level up for more marksmanship points. Okay. Let's move on to the pet being Beatster, the, one of my most hated characters in the game. This little creature got caught up in a spider web, but was fortunate enough to be rescued by Beat Cookie. It proved to be a great companion capable of bringing back Beat Cookie's bolts and other random weird stuff from time to time. Probably some plubbing trophies, if you know what I mean. But anyway, I didn't mean to tap that, I meant to press the X. The skill is that they collect various jellies and brings them to the cookie in a set sequence. Hair jellies, beet jellies, and beet potions. Level up far, far, I was gonna say far more, but four more energy restored for beet potions and more points for carrot and beet jellies. And last but not least, we gotta take a gander at the story for that carrot missile, which also has a skill. I like how the treasures do have stories as well. Uh, this carrot was once a relay baton, but after it realized it could run faster than the runners, it began a solo career under the name of Carrot Missile. It's real. It really is very fast. So you. Just <laughs> I just imagine there's like a whole line of marathoners running. They pass the carrot, and then the carrot just starts floating and just runs past the runners. I, I think that's so funny. A uh, carrot missile launches at given intervals, destroying obstacles and creating carrot sliced jellies. Level up for more points for uh, carrot sliced jellies. All right, I think I need everything that I need. I, I'm gonna equip some treasures first. Uh, they recommend the Edgar revival. I well, actually, let me check the full ranking list. Uh, spotlight. 
chest, and egg. I would like to use the carrot missile to show it off, though. Maybe I will swap out the egg with a carrot missile. So, oh, it's only level 3, though. Well, I'll equip the, uh, I have the spotlight fashion the this thing somewhere, right? Isn't that one of my max? Yeah, it's, there we go. And enhanced by uh, 3 levels. Uh, I want the carrot missile. And lastly, uh, what, they, what was the other one that they said? I don't focus enough. I don't pay too much attention because I'm an idiot. It was the chest. Okay. I think I have that at, like, at least over level 7. So let me find that real quick. It's got to be somewhere. There we go. I can't upgrade it, which I know it's useless, but who cares? Better for my breakouts and stuff. But, okay. Apparently, apparently, uh, you said cocoa and lemon cookie you enjoy that? I don't know why, but I don't think there's anything else for us to do other than just to go ahead and give it a run. Well, most likely get diamond because, like, level 11 is way better than level 4. But, eh, yeah, whatever. We'll just see how we do. Go ahead and press the play button right here. I look like a living scarecrow. No, you don't. That's a lie. Help. Who's calling for help? Beats? Are we collecting beats? I missed one. Oops. I'll do a cheeky reset just because. Don't want to miss that. Don't want to leave the beat behind. I, I'm i not in the mood to beat beats, but uh, I feel like I made that joke before. I don't know where, but I have a feeling that I really did make that joke at some point. Beat beats. I don't know. But I will say... Oh, we're finding a tied up other beat. How many beats are there? there? There's no way this beat is the same as, like, all these beats are the same as uh, the beats that we know. Because these, because the beats that we know, they're a pleb. Stealing everyone's trophies. Stealing everything that we love. Making just an rage and trophy race and guaranteeing, like, wanting us to run because of the plebby event where it's just like, oh, beats just stole the trophies. And uh, if you catch them, you can get stuff for reward. But you're going to need to run in trophy race so much. And not only just run in trophy race, but you're going to have to be successful in trophy race. So he wants you to be perfect. He's trying to expect perfection out of you. But, of course, every game is going to have a character that, you know, uh, we hate. Every single game is going to have that. And for me, that is beat. And I just got hit right there. I blame Beatster for that. Because I was too busy talking about him. What? I was supposed to dodge there? Are you kidding me? You know, I don't think there's a, there's a chance for us getting diamond rank on this one. Despite our very high level. Legitimately. I mean, hey, we got a... Oh, this is just... That wasn't a bonus time. I'm actually surprised how that wasn't a bonus time. We literally need one letter U. If we do, then that's going to be fine for us. So we can get some more points, big old, big old thing of points, big old, big old thing of joints? By joints, I mean, what are they, restaurant joints? I don't know. Just, y'all have any, uh, letter U's? Is there not one letter U here? Oh, well, well there's a guaranteed bonus time there, but now it, it didn't even matter for trying to get level U's. Lep, I meant, I said, I said level. What are level U's? Sounds like W, but letter U's, but I don't know. I have no idea what I'm saying. Whatever the case is, give me all the carrot stuff. Free stuff for me. I missed the crops. Oh, give me that bag. I want that bag. Getting close to it. Got it. Uh, any more? That's a lot of rainbow pear jellies. I'm sinking. Oh, I'm having PTSD of, uh, the plumbing break- Not breakout, the main story stuff. It was just like, oh, uh, avoid the sinking stuff. And you'll be A-OK. -okay. And it's just like, I don't know how to track how, where I jump or not. Uh... I can make it to Emerald, that is good. I can probably do way better if I had to magic candy, or just, like, not get hit before. But, honestly, not too bad for a first run. Up, I'm about to get- I'm, I'm about to die. Oh, no, wait, I'm still alive, somehow. Uh, I'm about to probably get a faint in, like, just a couple seconds. But, surprisingly, we just made it to Emerald 1, which is actually pretty impressive. I guarantee you if we didn't get hit a single time, and, and by the way, I got hit twice if you missed it. But if we didn't get hit a single time, we could have definitely made it to Diamond Rank. But also, I do need the magic candy, so I gotta set that up real quick. Click this, and we do have- we definitely do have enough of fake- fake? Make the first magic candy. Beautiful right here. Look at that, there's a nice little- Definitely does look like a beet. Kinda looks tasty, to be honest. Let's make a level 2. Make a level 3. There we go, nice. And the skill that the beet cookie magic candy produces is golden targets appear given intervals. Hit them to earn even more bonus points. The stronger the enchanted power, the more marksmanship points can be earned by hitting golden targets. Interesting, that sounds pretty cool. Alright, let's give this another run, because I hope that we can reach diamond rank this time. I might swap to a different treasure, I just wanted to kind of show off all the treasures in the one video. Uh, but, I don't know, maybe if I... Oh, I was gonna say, there's a replay button up here, but that's just for the cutscene. Okay, so... 
might swap out this, but the carrot missile, uh, it's hard because I know the main intention is just like, I don't know, maybe I could pull it off. Because the main intention for me to having this carrot missile is just to show off the treasure, but also they show off the egg to have, you know, the high points thing. So I pull the egg now. If we can get diamond ring, that's pretty cool. But also, ooh, look at that golden target. That looks nice. Love the look of that. I don't know why I'm kind of it looks like a golden pie tin for me. It's like on a, just like flip to the other side. Why? I don't know. I don't even remember what a pie tin looks like. So how can I make that comparison? I have no clue. I don't know. I'm feeling festive about it. This theme pr feels pretty jolly for being in the forest. And like being in the forest, like I'm expecting to like see all these like freaky like monster creatures. There's like things that all around they're just going to be like, oh, uh, we're literally going to eat you. But instead, it's just more like, dip, dip, dip. it's all fine. Which is kind of odd, because when you think about Beat Cookie, you kind of think about, uh, hey, I'm like a, like a wild survivor. Like, I'm fit to be, you know, survival. I'm, I'm a good survivor when it comes to, like, harsh conditions and stuff like that. So you kind of ex expect, like, some song that's kind of, like, disastrous in some way. Which is, like, you know, something more tense. Uh, I'm too scared to even hit any of those, to be honest. I'd rather take my chances just not taking damage. Alright, but... Okay, we made through without getting hit there, so that's good. Uh, but you just expect, like, it to be a lot more serious when it comes to Beat Cookie. I don't know. Oh, I missed one. Maybe that's why I missed the bonus time the first time, because I missed one. Maybe. That could be the case. If it is, I'll probably have to replay through the level once again. If it isn't, then I don't know how else to do it. Maybe that could be the case. If it isn't, then... Oh, well. Then it, 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 literally, you know what they say, it is what it is. I'm just hoping, honestly, I am hoping that is the case though, so all it's going to take me is just to replay through the level again. Because that can provide me some more extra jellies, and it's just a simple mistake that I can easily solve. Because I'm pretty sure I can literally just solve that by, I didn't even need to jump like once. All I need to do was just plumbing like, walk, and then I would get, I would have gotten all of them. And then I could get the second bonus time, which was the one that I just encountered. And it'll be all fine from there. Give me that po It's not a potion, it's a bag. Okay. Ugh. I swear, I hate the sinking stuff. Because it really makes me, like, double think myself. Like, like, what is it? Double think? Double back? It makes me, like, think hard about, like, how I should jump in this certain scenario. And let me tell you, sometimes it's not good. It's not fun. Okay, I think I'm making it way farther now. Making it back to my emerald roots, which now we're just entering our ruby ones. So please, I do have a lot more energy. That gives me a lot higher hopes. Okay, we're here. This, honestly, this spotlight really helps in this scenario because it makes all these like line jellies, like a uh, line cookie, right? It makes all these like jellies that are in like a nice straight line. They just instantly magnetize toward us. And the only ones that they don't collect are the ones that turn, like, it's the coin ones, but that's it. Okay, there we go. Now we got all those. Now, look at all that! That's easy! Uh, what is that? Diamond? Yeah, that was just instant diamond because of that one sweep right there. That was great. I didn't even need to go back for, like, the potential other bonus time that I missed. And that's even think assuming that it was there. But that was pretty good. We're about to faint right here. Oh, wait, no! Yeah, I forgot we have our egg. <laughs> I'm pretty sure people use that just so uh, they can get another, like, boost for their uh, skill activating. So they can go farther and also get a nice more, a solid more amount of points. But yeah, get these. I think mine can activate one more time. If I just get two more. <laughs> T-E. Just give me one more. Nice, got it. Just literally right when I was about to run out of energy. We could actually hit 400 million. We just did. Something super impressive. Give me all the, thi all the things. And I just felt, and I have a last hurrah. Sure, why not? Oh, there's n oh my. If I just made it just a little tiny bit longer, which that probably would have been hard to. Maybe it wouldn't have if I just made a very long jump. I could have reached that last bonus time, but that last run, very impressive. I love that. And we got diamond rank, which means all the rewards, they're ours. Look at all the spear potions, coins, tickets, and, oh, and those sweet, sweet 500 crystals. Love that. And also a bonus little extra reward of that. And also we got a reward waiting for us, which is 
1,000 cheeky crystals right there. We're, de we're definitely going to use some good spending on that. But with that being said, if you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to leave a like on it. And I'll share with your friends for more quick run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel? If you haven't yet, or you want to, hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to receive all my notifications on this YouTube channel in the near future. And last but certainly not least, I have merchandise in the description if you want to check it out. I'm not forcing you to buy anything. I'm just saying there might be something interesting in the shop that you might be interested in. But above all else, I will see you entities and guardians in the next video. Hail the hype knees!